Hello everybody, I'm Redouble, welcome back to the Age of the Ring. This is the Realms in Exile submod, which I did make a video for, uh, way back when, where I checked out Arnor. And today we're going to be checking out Eriador, but, because this is a submod of Age of the Ring, a lot of what you see, at least at this point uh, in development, is mostly uh, Age of the Ring stuff. So, rather than, rather than just showing you things you've already seen, I'm just going to show you uh, some of the new things... Uh, like, like, just get straight into it. So, uh, yeah, it makes uh, for much easier viewing. So, yeah. There's a lot of cool stuff, though. Um, we do have Nazgul Realms, which I haven't seen yet. We have Wicked Men, which is basically Harad. Um, but, yeah, there's a lot of sub-factions within each faction. But today, we're checking out Eriador, uh, which is basically Age of the Rings Rivendell, but with a uh, Rings of Power twist, like a Second Age twist, which is uh, very cool. So, we're going to check that out. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys all enjoy. Here we go. Okay, so here we are. So yeah, this is um, Rivendell, or Eriador, as it's known in the Realms in Exile mod. Um, so when you start the game, you have the choice to go with the Reign of Elrond, which is basically uh, Age of the Ring, Rivendell. Or you have the chance to go the Reign of Gil-galad. So we actually get the High King himself, and uh, we actually get... He's, he's drawn a lot of inspiration from the Rings of Power, which is... Very ballsy, to say the least. It's not the most popular thing, but hey, he wanted to do what he did. Um, also, he put in the OG Mithlon sentries because, I mean, this is meant to cover area door, so yeah, of course Mithlon's in there. Um, so that's really cool. So, um, before we get into the good stuff, you can recruit Anatar, the Lord of Gifts, uh, from your fortress. You can trust me. You can trust me. Yeah, I'm sure we can. It's using the Shadow of Mordor uh, depiction, which is awesome. Um, so he can spawn a chest which either explodes or gives you money. It's basically the Great Goblin ability. Um, he actually spawns a rack Rejoice from the, uh, from the Adventure Faction, I forget which one. Rebuild. He was indeed. And, uh, also, yeah, when heroes are nearby, he grants them bonus XP. Um, but they get a reduction in armor. Anyway, so... To do the ring hero first, or do the other thing I wanted to do? I think we're going to go with the ring hero, because the other thing is actually hilarious. I love it. Okay, so, uh, we have the ring here. Is not lost. And uh, Glorfindel is kindly holding it for us. And we can take it back to the fortress, where we get Isildur. But he's not that interesting. I mean, Isildur, yeah, doing the, the line of men. And um, all that other jazz. But, our tier 4, the heir of Feanor. Summons Celebrimbor and Veterans of the War of Wrath. So this is basically um, the return of the king, but that you get Celebrimbor. We are a light for others to follow. And it uses, of course, it uses the soundbite from uh, Shadow of Mordor. So these are the um, War of Wrath veterans, which are slightly remodeled uh, veterans of the Last Alliance. Their capes are actually pretty cool. He did a really good job with that. Um, but yeah, his Celebrimbor. gift. We can use the weapon of the enemy against him. Hey, 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 I think I heard someone else say that before. But yeah, he gives leadership. Um, he has massive damage that uh, debuffs as well. He's got a rebuild, and he has a massive armor boost. So he's here, right? And the armor boost is actually affecting the nearby structure, and it's got his uh, his smithing hammer, which I think is really cool for the icon. Um, and then what's this one? Grants heroes plus 15% to all stats. So, uh, yeah, he's pretty meaty. So the point of this is Celebrimbor won't stop at nothing to surpass his grandfather Feanor. So that's basically the, the driving force in this mod. So, Glorfindel, give us the ring. I am lord here. These towers are built in my name. The towers, lord here, yes. Celebrimbor. <laughs> so now he becomes the my bright lord. Yours. And it says, uh, won't stop at nothing to support. So he's still trying to be as, uh, famous as his, uh, as his, uh, grandfather Feanor. So he wears the one ring, gains 50% armor. I don't think it gives the hero buff anymore. It doesn't say it does, because he still has all of his other abilities. But this one, rather than buffing everyone, just, uh, buffs him. However... Actually, we'll just activate this so we can see it. There it is. However... As my power grows, so do those who stand with me. Hey, who are you talking to? You talking to Tally? Huh? Huh? Are you talking to anyway? If we have ten thousand, we can make our own ring, a master ring, free from Sauron's influence, and is basically the plot. Spoiler, 
for uh, Shadow of War. So that's basically what you can do. So it's just going to uh, take 10,000 of our monies because that's how much it costs to make a ring, apparently. Just mix those metals together, you know. There is only one true ringmaker. Our homes are in peril. And do we have to drop the ring? We just drop it here. It's the ring. Get it quick. And now is he? The future and the past. Oh hell yes, Lord of the Rings. He surpasses his grandfather, Feanor. Let's go. <laughs> oh man, that's so cool. Calibrimba overpowers the will of targeted enemy heroes. So we're just gonna pick that up before the enemy does. Okay, yeah. get the ring back to camp. It but yeah, it's gift. so cool because it actually he uses use the um, of the enemy like the him. main feature from Shadow of War. So he has Dominate, so you can uh, enslave other uh, heroes. I feel like what he could have done was basically use all of the abilities that Celebrimbor gets in the Shadow of War game. So obviously there was like Enslave and Dominate. Um, there was also one that allowed you to like break the minds of enemies. I forget what that one was called. Um, but he could have put that one in, which is just like a massive debuff, like slows him down or whatever. But yeah, it's so cool. It's so cool that he actually put this in here. We have, um, but it's so cool that he could actually make the ring himself. I really, I really, really like that. Anyway. Yeah, he's not going to die anytime soon. Just, yeah, don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. So, unless he makes a hero, we can't actually use Dominate. But we can use the Bright Lord. And, uh, yeah, he's just gonna have a good time, so here. That is the Elven way. That is the Elven way. Alright, Glorfindel, mission for you. Just like in the Biffy campaign, you go back to the fortress. And now, for me to show you what I really want to do. So, Gil... Gil Galad is fairly standard. He has, like, knockback, he has armor, he has, um, an AoE buff. There you go, which is kind of cool. However, uh, where is it? Is it the library? No. Is it the forge? Yes, it's at the forge where you can make the three elven rings. Three rings for the elven kings under the sky. So when you do that, uh, it doesn't matter what level, Kyodan, Gilgalad, um... Yeah, sorry, I was trying to remember the last one, but it was Galadriel, yeah. It doesn't matter what level they are, they will get a ring ability. So Galadriel gets her bearer of Nenya, which is what Lorien Galadriel just gets. Um, he gets Elrond's Ring of Air. And Kyodan, actually, because he has uh, Gandalf's Ring, he gets Rekindle's Hearts, which is kind of cool. Also, he gets Blessing of Ulmo, which is... There you go. How are you doing? Have you taken out the Fortress? Okay, he actually did take down the Fortress. Okay, so there was one more thing I wanted to show you. And uh, the reason why I'm not going into more detail is because it is mostly, at least at this point, well, wow, that is actually a really impressive shield, um, but it's mostly just sort of like abilities from the main game moved around. So as I said, this is Elrond's and uh, Kidan gets uh, Elrond's. Sorry, not Elrond, he gets Gandalf's. We can also level up. But there was one last thing I wanted to show you, which much to discuss. is your boy, young, Indeed. young Hugo Weaving. It's years. young Elrond. So he's more of a support hero. He actually mapped the face pretty well. The hair's a bit difficult, but hey, the hair didn't look good in the show, so look at you now. there you go. Anyway, he has um, buffs to his attack and defense. He resets ability cooldowns, which is hilarious when you combo that with Kirdan, so since he can just level up heroes. Tell me your but, 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 if everyone's favorite thing from the Rings of Power was uh, Durin and Elrond, well, you're in luck because the right of Zigin Tarhag, excellent name, you can actually summon Durin the Fourth. Which is just the best thing ever. Durin didn't know. Durin didn't know. Two weeks at most. Oh, you gotta love him. I'm still angry. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, so when near Elrond, he gains uh, damage, attack speed, and armor. Furious Blow, which is obviously using the... Uh, I think that's the picture from the Zigan Tarag. Which is... Where Gloin learned his thing. But the best thing of all is the sapling of the Great Tree of Linden. Look what he can summon. Look how small it is. He summons a mini tree. I love it. It's so funny. And, um, wait, it can move? I didn't know that. The enemy approaches. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. So it heals nearby units, grants some damage and armor. But yeah, these two together is just my favorite thing. I know we get the Bright Lord. I know we get Anatar. Let's hear him again. 
I will guide the children of Iluvatar. Dude, you are evil, Avatar. You know what you're doing, you insidious little what bastard. But yeah, that's just... Yeah, this was uh, Eriador. Look how slow he is, and he gets a buff when he's near him. No wonder he's crying. Tell me your secret. Oh, man, it's just too good. Tell me everything. Anyway, um... Basically, the spellbook is massive. If you go Reign of Elrond, you get this side. And if you go Reign of Gilgalad, you get this side. So we have an eco buff. We have uh, one that buffs the armor on uh, forges. This one's pretty good. Gives you XP. This one summons Aurifa and Amdir. Um, and then we obviously get Gilgalad... Or, sorry, uh, Celebrimbor. And then we get the Last Alliance, because any faction that has Gilgalad obviously has to have the Last Alliance, so... And there were some... Resisted. And there you go. So even though we have Isildur here... Wait, hold up. Is it the same? I think it is actually the same. Can we not make him anymore? Hold up. Yeah, you literally can't make him. Okay. So if you if you, if you you make Isildur from the fortress using the ring, he doesn't actually show up with the summon. So there you go. Anyway, I don't know why that, that mini Malon tree tickled me so much. It was just so beautiful. Um, but yeah, anyway, this is the Realms and Exile Mon. Um, I will have a look at the other factions to see if they deserve, like, a full-on showcase, or if it's better to just do these little, uh, mini ones. Um, but for, for Rivendell, um, it was basically sort of just like, 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 you, like, it, I know all the portraits are the same, but they were basically sort of like, old stuff moved around, so yeah. Anyway, it's cool regardless, and, uh, he's done really well. So, there'll be a download link in the description. You can uh, check that out for yourself. It's very easy to install. There's a very easy guide to follow as well on the ModDB page. And can we dominate a great beast? No. Damn. Worst mod. Whatever. And is that the last thing? Troll Cage, my boy? Yeah, it's a shame he didn't actually make any heroes. I would have loved to have seen that. Is he actually going to resist? <laughs> is this Olog High really gonna stand? There it is. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Short but sweet. Let's keep it that way. See you next time. Goodbye.